local women are celebrating V-Day today. So there were vagina interviews, which became vagina monologues. <laughs> The award-winning The Vagina Monologues were performed today as the centerpiece to a weekend of V-Day activities. The V-Day Worldwide Campaign is a movement to stop violence against women. So we, we try and examine all of women's experiences throughout their lives and give them a forum where they can then feel more comfortable uh, not only discussing that, but feel that they're not alone in their joyous experiences or their horrible experiences. Today's event helped raise money for the Shade Tree Shelter. The Live in Southern Nevada, with local news, traffic and weather, you're watching Fox 5 News this morning. It is this case of domestic violence. Coming up, we've got someone live in our studio who works every day to help prevent domestic violence. That story in just a moment. You're watching Fox 5 News this morning. Thanks for waking up with Fox 5 News this morning. All right, welcome back, everybody. Time now is 8.23. Jurors in the Robert Blake murder trial get back to work this morning. The jury will decide the fate of the actor who stands accused of killing his wife, Bonnie Lee Bakley. She was shot in 2001. Now, Blake says someone else killed Bakley when he left her in his car to retrieve a gun he'd accidentally left behind during dinner. But the prosecutor argued that Blake had the opportunity and the motive to kill Bakley to keep their child, but not the marriage. And if the jury believes Blake, the case becomes an unfortunate death with the murderer at large, but if, the, if it convicts him, uh, the case becomes something else, a domestic violence case with a famous face. Now, those who work to prevent domestic violence here in Las Vegas are watching this case as it calls attention to their work. And joining us live right now is a woman's advocate. She's actually the executive producer for V-Day Las Vegas 2005. It's an organization that calls attention to domestic violence and also uh, rape cases as well. And Cami Manninen is her name. Thank you so much for joining us. Cammie is a little bit nervous, so we're going to take it easy here. Thank you so much for joining us. Wow, this is a high-profile case, and of course, your organization is watching it, but do you think it's going to help or hurt domestic violence? Well, naturally, it's, it will have both effects. Uh, naturally, this is a horrible tragedy, and right. we never want to hear story. We never want to hear stories like this, but it does give us an opportunity to put our message out in a stronger way that we need to, women of this country need to say no to domestic violence. We need to stop blaming ourselves when we're victimized. Oftentimes women who are raped or beaten blame themselves and they internalize their shame and their guilt and they never speak out and say, this happened to me. And what we do at V-Day Worldwide is we bring women together and pe uh, men and women as well uh, together to have a, a forum where they can discuss those things mm -hmm. in an open way uh, and begin a dialogue about domestic violence and rape and as well as many of the extraordinary experiences that women have throughout their lives. Right. And Kimmy, let me ask you this. A lot Certainly. of people are comparing this to the O.J. Simpson trial. Of course, mm -hmm. the famous face out there, his wife uh, has been murdered, and so we're not really sure. But do you think this brings a level of hopelessness for the average person uh, if a famous person, and you know, we put a lot of stock into actors. If this famous person can't handle their relationship, what does that say to us, the average person? Actually, it shouldn't say that to the average person. What it should say is, uh, more importantly, that that woman or that person, that young child who's being abused, is not alone. This, they are not the only person this is happening to. This happens to people from all walks of life, from celebrities to the simplest member of the community. Right, right. You know? Let me ask you this. This is our final question. How big of a problem is domestic violence here in the Valley? It is remarkable. It is a staggering problem. Wow. The domestic violence unit at Las Vegas Metro Research receives over 12,000 reports of domestic violence. That's pretty amazing for a year growing community. For a growing for a growing community, and what that breaks down to is roughly nine women every hour are battered in this city. Wow, we only have about 30 seconds left. Where can people go to find you guys to get more information and to get help if they need it? Well, uh, certainly the Shade Tree 
who was the beneficiary of our V-Day event this mm -hmm. year, which wrapped last night. Okay. And the Safe Nest also offer uh, emergency shelter to women or children who are fleeing domestic violence situations and fleeing violent homes. Okay. All right, and thanks a lot to Cami Menonin from uh, the uh, Domestic Violence uh, Unit Executive Producer for V-Day Las Vegas 2005. Yes. We certainly appreciate you joining us. Thank and, you. And uh, we're going to wait and see what happens with the Blake trial. Absolutely. All right, take care. Time now is 827. Andy, back to you. Hi, Monica Cam.